Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by today. Uh, we did the uh, the oatmeal Yeti, uh, and now we're going to do the regular version of that same beer without the oatmeal. This is their this is Great Divides Yeti Imperial Stout, and this one was bottled on January the eighth of 2013, so it's almost two years old. We're in November of 2014, so January it would be two years old. And this is a nine and a half percenter, uh, just like the the oatmeal was. I think all the Yetis are like nine and a half percent, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but the, they do a, a really great beer. I'm expecting the same great things out of this one. Uh, the oatmeal is not in this beer like it was in the oatmeal Yeti, so the mouthfeel is probably not going to be quite as smooth and creamy as the oatmeal was, but I still anticipate this being a great beer. And I may have reviewed this beer once before, but this is the 2014 edition of this beer, and this beer has been cellared for almost two years. So uh, let's see what this one brings, guys. The, uh, the IBUs are listed here as 75 on this beer, so it's quite a big number. Uh, for a stout, uh, uh, th those are numbers for IPAs instead of stout. So evidently, it's got quite a bit of sweetness to go with the uh, uh, the IBU bitterness on this uh, on this beer. So I would expect it to be quite that high. Uh, most of the stouts are not quite that high, but this one is. So we'll see how bitter it is when we get the cap off of it here in just a minute. Commercial description, Great Divides Yeti Imperial Style is an onslaught of the senses. An almost viscous, inky black brew, Yeti opens with a massive roasty chocolate coffee malt flavor that eventually gives way to rich toffee and burnt caramel notes, packed with an enormous quantity of American hops. So that's where the bitterness is coming in uh, uh, on this beer. Yeti's hop profile reveals a slightly citrusy, piney, and wonderful dry hoppy finish. 75 IBUs, which is uh, international bittering units, that's what the IBUs stand for. Uh, over to the food pairings, it's going to be just like it was yesterday, since it is a stout, it goes with these chocolate dishes. Glass bars, pint, becker, and non tumbler snifter. I got the double glass today. Uh, this beer would go with your stronger dishes if you drink it with a meal. Uh, I usually drink this either before the meal or after the meal uh, as an asp aspartif. Uh, very rarely that I drink a stout with a meal unless it's a big, bold meal. But, you know I mean, whatever you like. If you like drinking this beer with everything that you eat, I'd highly do it. Whatever blows your hair back is what I say. Blows your socks off and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. It says year-round availability on this beer, so you should be able to pick it up. Uh, if they ship uh, their beers to your state, you should be able to get it just about year-round. So let's get the cap off of this one and get it into the glass. While I'm pouring this, I'm going to pour it down the center. The t-shirts are on, on order, and... Uh, Another batch of bottle openers are going to be ordered tomorrow, so hopefully uh, the t-shirts will show up in it here within the next week or so, and the bottle openers will too, so as soon as I get both of those in my grubby little hands, I'll do a video uh, and let everybody know that the openers and the t-shirts are in, so. Alright, with that heavy pour, about a half a finger ahead, and, it, and it's uh, it's an off-white, uh, tan, khaki-colored head, just like the one from the Yeti yesterday. Over to the light, there is none. It is pitch black. It is dark as night, guys. All right, let's get a nose on this one. A 
coffee, chocolate, toffee, caramel, hints of dark fruit. There's no raisins that I know of that's brewed uh, in, the, in the brewing process for this beer like the oatmeal was. But there still is some rich, bittersweet chocolate and dark fruit notes in this beer. They make some really good stuff, and they've been dating the sides of their bottles for a long time. And it's actually on the label and not digitized, uh, where you can't see it uh, on the bottle when it's got beer in it. They, they got a little box code underneath their logo on the side of the label that tells you exactly when it was bottled on. So, thumbs up to them guys. Uh, they've been leading the way for a long time as far as dating their labels. So, uh, very nice. Uh, I do appreciate it uh, as well as most other craft beer drinkers. And if you're a stout fan and you can get these beers uh, in your area, more than likely you probably already had this one. Uh, this is just a 12 ounce bottle. They're not going to gouge you uh, like some of the uh, the uh, the breweries do for the bombers and for the 750 or 500 milliliters. Uh, reasonably priced. It's nine and a half percent. It's not a cheap beer, but it's uh, it's not overpriced. So. With that being said, as you can see, the head is dissipated basically completely. It's not even covering the top of the beer now. It's got a very wonderful, rich, roasted, chocolatey coffee smell to the nose. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. That is such an easy drinking beer for a 9.5%. I'm not getting hardly any alcohol at all for a nine and a half. I've had boozier beers at seven percent than what this is. A rich, very rich chocolatey coffee taste with this beer. Burnt caramel, toffee. Hints of some dark fruit, plums, rates, raisins, dates, figs. And to me, for 75 IBUs, it's very well balanced. It's not got an uh, overwhelming bitter back end at 75 IBUs. And it's very sweet tasting. Very well made beer. Very impressive beer. So if you can get this one, you need to pick this one up if you're a stout fan and you can get this in your area. But it's right out of the fridge at 40 degrees. We're going to let it warm up. Might puff on a little cigar while I sip on this for the next 30 minutes or so. And we'll come back and do the final chug. But it looks pretty impressive, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. I'm back. I'm going to make this short and sweet since the furnace is running back there. The heat's on. And it's down in the 20s again tonight. Been sipping on it about 30 minutes. Very tasty. Very, very tasty. The alcohol is so well hidden in this beer. You can seriously get into trouble drinking one of these. Uh, not one of them, but you, if, you, if you used to have more than one, two or three of these in one setting, you have your buzz going on, no doubt about it. Very tasty, rich, roasty malt, the chocolate, the coffee, hints of dark fruit in there. The bitterness for the IBUs that's in this beer is not overwhelming. It's uh, it's very tasty. The sweetness and the bitterness come together. Uh, very complex beer. Like I said, this one's almost two years old. Been selling this one for quite a while. And it's, uh, it's very tasty. It's cellared very well. This beer would probably sell it very well for five or ten years. So, With that being said, let's, uh, let's do the final chug here. <sighs> what a wonderful aroma on this beer. Not quite the creaminess of the oatmeal that we had yesterday, but still very, very delicious. For this style of beer, guys, uh, it's awesome. It's, it's very, very tasty. So if you can get these beers in your area, you ought to try to pick one of these up if you're into the Stouts, Imperial Stouts. And uh, this is just as good as the one I had yesterday. Uh, like I said, uh, the oatmeal lent a little more, little cream, a little more creaminess in, with the oats in there. and. Uh, but still, this is very, very tasty. The bitterness is not overwhelming. So, for me, guys, this is a 10. Uh, it definitely is a 10. Uh, bottled on dates right on the side. Those guys have been doing that for quite a while. They lead the industry uh, in bottling, dating, bottle dating their beers. So, we've been doing it for quite a while. So, 
thumbs up to those guys. It's right on the label where you can see it. No digitized code or, or some kind of black ink on this dark bottle. Very, very nice. 10 for me. So let's see what everybody else thinks. We'll go over to Beer Advocate. They say 94 in the outstanding range. I think that's about what they gave the Oakville yesterday. I'm not sure. And uh, Great Beer says overall 198 in the style. I don't know why the 98 in the style. I think it's 100 overall and 100 in the style. Very nice, very tasty, well hidden alcohol for 9.5%. Model roasted moss, like I said. Chocolate, coffee, hints of dark fruit. Very, very pleasant. Selling very well. So, uh, if you've had this one, let me know what you think of it, guys. So, we're going to wrap this up. See you tomorrow. We're going to look in the fridge. See you then.